Hello guys, I'm doing another cooking video. Hope you can see alright. Um, it is late, but I'm trying a new piece of kit. Well, it's not a new piece of kit, it's actually a very old piece of kit. Um, what it actually is, is um, it's a pressure cooker. <laughs> and this is a very old one from the 1960s, which used to belong to my mum. <laughs> so, um, We'll give it a go. I have used it before at home. Sorry about the noise. Let me get the thing out. There we go. That's the lid out. Um, basically, I'm going to do a vegetable. What's the name? Um, we got three little trivet thingies inside. Sorry about the noise. Um, There's some, uh, some ingredients in. Um, get another little trivet. <laughs> it's going to the bottom, but we don't need that one. So uh, I've already boiled the kettle. So we'll whack that on there. And then um, we'll just chop up our veg first. So what we've got is a couple of potatoes. We'll chop up small, chop these up into little bits, cut the eyes out, ah, cut the eyes out. just cut these up small, chuck them in the bottom, these little bits, like so. So that's your potato, or one potato. Uh, here, cut that into little bits. Da, da. Yeah, my um, I was watching a video the other day, and um, I thought to myself, I thought, what a cracking way to cook, because the idea is to keep the steam down as much as possible. You see, um, obviously the problem in here in your campers you're producing so much steam especially when you're boiling stuff so um i thought to myself well what how can i how can i reduce steam as much as possible so i thought well obviously you don't want to be cooking for longer periods of time so i thought well how would i do that so it transpired that the way to do that was through a pressure cooker because um what you basically do is get your pressure cooker up to temperature um, you get it up to pressure and then um, and then you either put it on low heat very low heat or um, take it off the heat altogether and just leave it for um, however whatever time you have to leave it for depending on what you're cooking and um, it cooks itself basically it cooks under its own pressure um, I did try this the other day at home. Um, I didn't film it. Uh, got some carrots there, look. So we've got only got some little carrots. So that's all we've got. <laughs> I raided the cupboard before I left to see what there was. And um, we came up with a vegetable stew. Which is good, because the veggies are good for you. I don't mind vegetable stew. It's very nice. Well, vegetable soup, I think this is going to end up being rather than a stew because um, I haven't got anything to thicken it up with. <clears throat> Wish you could use some corn flour or something like that. Or um, what I have done before is use gravy. Just put some gravy granules in it. That's a good way of thickening it up. Oh, you guys can see me, all right. <laughs> um, I don't know whether you can. I've got a reflector up here above the window, so um, I'm hoping you can see okay. I don't know if the GoPro's picking it up, but I'll go with it. Um, I have got a stock cube. Um, I've only got a beef OXO cube, um, which will be going in a bit later. Um, obviously, if you've got something better, like uh, if you're doing a vegetable one, obviously uh, you can use vegetable stock. But, uh, 
I don't have any, that's all I had, so um, I'm having to make do with that. So we got um, we got a clove of garlic there as well. I love garlic. I love garlic. I really love garlic. Honest to God, I can't can't do without garlic. I love it. I am gonna proper stink. <laughs> uh, and you know what? I'm gonna put in two because I can. <laughs> oh, that smells lovely. Look at that, that's a huge boo, see that? What kind of size of that? <laughs> wow. That's, um, that's proper good. I've got to put a bin bag in my bin, not bin dustbin. So, um, it's a bit of a mucky bin now. Right. Chop these up a little bit small. Well, not that that's a small piece of garlic, but oh, oh, lovely! I love garlic. <laughs> I do love garlic. People don't love me that I love garlic, but I love garlic. <laughs> right, that's that. What that in as well? Um, I think this. You'll have to check on your steamer instructions, depending on a steamer. Um, your um, pressure cooker, depending on what you've got. I mean, this is an old one. Um, the um, this particular one, it says um, a quarter of a pint of water uh, for every um, quarter of an hour plus quarter of a pint. So um, this isn't going to take very long to cook this. So uh, half a pint is ample in here. So we. Uh, we don't really need very much water, but obviously you've got to make sure you don't. It doesn't boil dry, so uh, it's better to have more than less. <laughs> if you guess, if you get what I mean, because um, you certainly don't want your uh, your pressure cushion to boil dry, otherwise it could go bang, <laughs> which is not good. So, I'll just peel this one a minute. I'm on a stealth. <laughs> I'm on a stealth camp tonight. Just for a change. Right, there's your onion, chop that up, whack that in there like that. There we go, left that one. Right. What else have we got? We've also got some red pepper. Like so water that one. I, do, I find they do that. Peppers do that to me, like onions. Right, put that in there as well. Go in there. Right, uh, I've got one onion left, but um, I'm not going to use that one, because uh, I don't need it, because I've got one already. So let's just put those to one side. Um, I don't need those, so I'll put that out of the way. Um, yes, I've boiled my kettle, but I'll bring that back to the boil again. Excuse me a minute, I'll just put that near. I'll just bring, see, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that there? That's my, um, my chopping board. <laughs> it's just a job. Um, yes, this old pressure cooker is a, I uh, can't remember, what is it? Skyline, Skyline pressure cooker from the 1960s. <laughs> but, um, I've tried it and tested it. I've cut two or three things on it at home, so um, I know it works. So, um, cracking. Not so arms tonight, so sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to have a nibble on a biscuit. Oh, that pepper was... That pepper was uh, acidy, whatever they call it. I'm going to pinch a biscuit. Obviously, if you want to add any other um, 
herbs and spices. You could actually put some curry powder in as well if you so wish. Um, I've, um, I've opted for sea salt. So half a teaspoon of sea salt. I do like my salt. <laughs> I know it's not good for you, but this is sea salt, genuine sea salt, not your um, not your not your horrible processed stuff that you get from um, like table salt. None of that muck, because that's got anti um, gelling, not gelling, anti sticky stuff in it. And it's horrible. Um, some mixed herbs as well. So that's those gone in. Um, we've got a stock, but I'll put that in a bit, in a little bit. Just bring this to the boil first. Just finish my biscuit. Find me lighty thing. Excuse me a minute. Kettle's nearly boiled now. Wrap that on there. Just going to bring that to the boil. Um, it's starting to boil, sort of. So um, I'll whack some of this in. But I think I don't think I'm going to use a whole one of these. Um, I think I'll break it up. Yeah, I think I'll only use half. Yeah. The other one away. Um, like I say, I'm not going to use the whole one because I think it might make it a bit strong. So, um, just use half of it. Right, that's that one. Come on, Mr. Boydy. I don't want to put a bit too much in there. <laughs> Never mind. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. You know what I'm like. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right. Now what we do is we put our lid on. Uh, Oops. Now I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's a little valve on the top there. Now it, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's tss, it's hissing. Um, what that now, what that will do now is hiss until all the air is out, and then when the steam, when it starts to steam, is when the air is expelled, and then we can shut the flap with the spoon. <laughs> you are just seeing that starting to steam now. Pressure's building up. Obviously this would be boiling away normally, wouldn't it now, with all the steam going everywhere. So um Ooh, that smells nice. I don't know, uh, shut that off like that. That's the other valve working. There's another little valve in there. That needs to shut itself up first as well. When that now, when that begins to hiss, that then shows. When now the valve's shut, um, we wait for the pressure to build up. That to psst, blow off, not literally, but um, <laughs> wait for the pressure to blow, and then uh, we'll take it off the heat. Then and then we'll just leave it, and it can stew in its own um, juices, as it were, in, under pressure. We'll turn the heat. Can you hear that now? Can you hear it hissing? That's just starting to blow off now. So that means it's hit the right pressure. 
So now it's hit that right pressure, turn the heat down, and um, we'll cook it for about 10 minutes. So we'll leave that going now, and as you can see, very little steam. And it reduces the cooking time as well, um, which is even better because it saves me gas. So, what we want to do now is we need to we'll take that off the heat. Um, what we're supposed to do now with this particular one um, is to reduce the pressure. Now we can either can either open the valve, which would then fill the whole place up with steam, which is defeating the object, or um, we can pour cold water over it. reduces the pressure inside. So I hope you guys can see all right. That's okay. Just um, put that in there a minute. Put this over here. Put this over here. Still got quite a bit of pressure in this one. Not a lot. Only a little bit. There we go. Cool. Oh, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Um, Ten minutes, quarter of an hour, and it's all cooked. But uh, there's a little bit too much water. But um, it's easy enough rectified. I think, uh, like I say, I think probably the best bet would to be would be to boil some of that off. But I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave it as it is. But um, if I show you some of that now, that is our soup. But it, as you can see, it's all um, it's all cooked. The potatoes are soft look and the carrots are done it's all um it's all cooked really well but it's it's more of a plate of vegetables with gravy on <laughs> but we call it soup right <laughs> so that's how to cook soup in a pressure cooker almost <laughs> um yeah oh i'm looking forward to that it smells nice um yeah so i'm going to tuck into my tea that's the soup that's the pressure cooker and um, that was another how-to cooking video. So, thanks for watching, guys. Leave comments down below, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hmm. I did chop it up a bit. <laughs> I did mush it up a bit. I um, I, I chopped it up with a fork a little bit because um, I didn't have a masher. As you can see, it is a rather nice soup and I have tasted it and it is a rather nice soup. So, um, thanks for watching. See you next video.